Happy Wednesday. It's uh, It's been a whirlwind of a morning. <clears throat> I did a live um, this morning and ended up playing with some color, as you can see. I used the Hip Dot Zion palette, I think is, is what it's called. Um, and it was a lot of fun. And an old friend of mine, he's not old, just I've known him for a while. Um, he used to work at the Mac counter at Macy's in Appleton, his name is Rich. He happened on my live, and so that was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, so then I was like just leisurely going about work, and I had not curled my hair or anything, and I was wearing this, you know. And <laughs> then all of a sudden the thing popped up on my thing to remind me of a meeting I had, and it was actually, most of my Zoom calls are with just work people. But this was me sitting on one with a customer. And I was like, crap. And so I went quick, chucked some curls in my hair. I, this is the 15 minute warning. Had three phone calls while I'm trying to curl my hair with people from work, like for a couple of things that had to get handled. All right, sorry, we had to, I had to have a pause to get out the things that I needed. Um, by the way, the whole churning up your peanut butter when you first get it with an immersion blender like I showed you guys, and then keeping it in the fridge totally works. It does not get separated. Anyway, so took three phone calls. Very quickly, oh, but it's going to be hard to spread though. I haven't used this since the last time I showed you that I stirred it up and put it in the fridge. Oh man, that's my knife you're hearing. Emma. It's, it's fine. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this work. I'll, I'm just doing one of my those wraps, the wellness wraps that I like, you know, and some peanut butter and a banana. I call it breakfast sushi. In case you're new here, I haven't. I haven't shown. I have not shown making it in a really long time. But anyway, so I was like, okay, well, Kristen, you need to get going. <laughs> So I, like I said, I quickly slapped some curls in my hair, and I actually, on my lunch, I had intended to film a video on how I curl my hair, because it's like the number one question I get on, on Instagram for some reason, and it's really nothing special, but, um, so I did that, and then I was like, okay, well, you probably shouldn't be wearing a Nike sweatshirt. Boy, I've gotten more junk phone calls lately. I don't even know. Anywho. Um, so I quickly, you know, took this off, threw on a sweater, the beauty of it only being from here up, right? I don't have to worry about what's on my, what's on the bottom of me because I'm wearing joggers. <laughs> it's a break from leggings today to joggers. So yeah, that, that's been my morning so far. So I don't even know. Did I say what time it is? It's nine o'clock. Um, so being busy was very helpful in my, um, I'm trying to go from, although I had to have been earlier because I don't think I ate anything last night. I'm trying to go from like seven o'clock at night to nine in the morning, you know, not, not eat in between there. Show you my puzzle progress. Worked on this a little bit last night. So I have it turned so it's easier for me to reach this area here but so I'm down to just the Christmas tree portion of this so we'll see I'll probably finish that tonight we shall see um we had tacos last night that was delightful uh what else I really I have nothing else to report it's you know I know I know that you guys know I just <laughs> I just feel badly that I don't ever have anything really fun to report. Um, we're going to have dinner with Stephen and Mark this weekend. I think I talked to you guys about that on Saturday. So that will be fun. I haven't really gotten to see Stephen much. So in case you're curious, I just put peanut butter, two tablespoons of peanut butter, all over the wrap here. And then I roll it up. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I leave the house like this and I just chomp on it. <laughs> it's not very ladylike. But when I'm home, I just cut it then. I'm trying to be fast, so I just cut it so it looks like, and I call it breakfast sushi. 
I don't love regular sushi. I know. I think it's maybe because of where I live. It's not like we have the best sushi ever. Um, but I have had some. I like California. What is it called? The California roll? I like that. There's a couple other things I like, but. All right. I'm just rambling. I'm going to go eat my breakfast sushi and get back to work. And I'll check in with you guys later. Good morning, everybody. It is still morning. It's 11.45 uh, Thursday morning. And I am, I've just been really busy with work. <laughs> Fortunately, I was supposed to have a Zoom call all day today. And that got rescheduled. So that is good. I'm going to take this out of little bags. One of, Bob told, uh, one of his guys that's from Mexico and goes home, you know, one of the guys that he works with him, that goes to Mexico when, I don't know if he just recently went or what, because I feel like I just told Bob I was getting low. But anyway, his name is Miguel, and he always brings me back vanilla from Mexico, um, which is my favorite, my preferred. We've, I found out about it when, I was, they, when we were there for our honeymoon. So the entirety of our marriage I've been using. <laughs> um vanilla from Mexico so I just have I was getting I had just refilled this I always refill this little thing and so I was on my last one and Bob already told them and now I've got more I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna have for lunch today whether it be a turkey burger or chicken breast. I think turkey burger. I've had chicken breast. But yesterday I finished up the smoked pork and then I had chicken breast and vegetables for dinner. So that's a whole story. And then, and then Bob, I actually think I'm going to wait a little bit. I always, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm hungry now, but if I eat too soon, then I'll be too hungry for dinner and it's a whole, it's a whole thing. I felt like my watch was just yelling at me to stand up. I'm standing. <laughs> At any rate. So, yeah. Oh, I know. I'm going into the wrong room. I want to show you guys. I ordered new little travel bags from QVC. And Lug is the brand. So, I wanted to show you. This, I, I ordered two mini ones. That's what these ones are. And so, this has hair care stuff in it for travel. And then this has my skincare stuff in it. This over here. And then this one I put has my makeup in it. So you can see, I'll use the different color. Whoops. So you can see the difference here. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. I, you really can get a lot of stuff in there. This is backwards. And if you wanted to, I would never have this like this. But you could, there's a thing here where you could put it on the back of your suitcase. I would never do that. It's not really big enough. It kind of, I knocked Tom Ford over here. It's not really big enough for that. I don't think. Like, it would see, it would look silly at any rate. Um, so I have everything in here but a foundation. And, um, like, I usually would put a palette in there. It's, I'm impressed with how big this is. Uh, and my, like I said, my brushes. So if I take my brushes out, I have all my other stuff in these little pockets. And there's, oh, do you see the room? Yet it's still so compact. It's crazy. But, like, here, let me grab, um, I'll grab my Fulfilled palette. I want to see if this will fit in here. Oh, yeah, it totally would fit in here like this. No issue. You could use a smaller one, but this is, a, this is a, like a full-size palette here. It's dirty, but it's a full-size palette, so I think that's really, that's nice. Anyway, I just thought I would show you guys. So, and I do, I have this separate with like, I have wipes on the one hand, and then this is the one that I would take my carry-on. It has my contact solution in it, my contact holder. Um, usually I have a little deodorant in there. I don't currently. Some body wash. Like, just basic stuff. I just hope that I don't ever not have my luggage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. There you go. That's what I got for you so far this morning. Um, all right, I gotta see what's happening here. Am I okay? Not anything I need to handle. Um, side note, am I the only one that's still 
listening to Christmas music. Not because I want it to be Christmas or anything, and I, I don't know. I need to put the sweater away. Um, but because there's something relaxing about it, I don't know. And I really, I have not found a lot of other, like, calming music sort of things for my ambient background noise that you guys know that I like. So, I wanted to show you guys, though, that I did last night finish the puzzle. And I can't tear it down and start a new one until I show you guys. Because then it's like it didn't actually happen. See what I'm saying? I should see if my dad wants to do it. I was like, what? What? What's happening? <laughs> uh, I'll see if my dad wants this one. So there you go. She's all done. This was the Hallmark Countdown to Christmas puzzle. And I did like it. It was fun. It wasn't super hard, but it was hard enough. It was, it, oops, it was a good time. So I will take that apart and let, bring my hair clip, and uh, check with my dad to see if he would like to do that one. There you go. Tonight I have my online training with my trainer. I'm excited about that, which is weird. We did have another, um, it's called a horror frost where it's super humid. I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but it looks really, gets really frosty on the trees. So, that was good. And tonight we're having a new dinner recipe. I'm gonna put it together. For the rest of, the friend that I got the recipe from, I was looking for my water jug. The friend that I got the recipe from, she's never put it together in advance because it uses melted butter, but I'm gonna, and I'm going to hope for the best because I want Bob to put it in while I'm working, you know, with my trainer. Otherwise, we're not going to be eating until heaven knows when because that's at five. It's only a half hour, but I walk for about 15 minutes on the treadmill beforehand and about 15 minutes after I'm done working out with her. And that wouldn't be till 5.45 and I would... I normally would like to show her right after that, but last week I was really hungry after it, so. any rate, I'll show you here in a minute, dinner, the recipe and the situation. All right, I have whipped up dinner. I hope that I did it right. Because when she, when my friend made this for us, I, t I didn't see her making it. And I just don't remember it being this yellow, but I mean, it does have two tablespoons of mustard. So that's what it looks like. Um, this recipe is for 12, um, but I sort of did the whole amount of this anyway, because I, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, so it's just, here hopefully you can see that, there's that, there's that, I just did the half teaspoon sea salt, half teaspoon of dried sage, um, there's that, so there you go, mustard glazed chicken thighs. Um, <clears throat> like I said, she, because you melt the butter, she had never made it in advance before, but I did. And we're going to see what happens. I mean, oops, good gracious. You get the door closed. Um, just is what I needed to do so that, so that we could eat at a decent time and I could still get a walk in before and after. And I'm just, walk, don't get it twisted. I'm not like doing a big old walk before I... <laughs> Just doing a little warm up and a cool down before and after my workout with, with my trainer. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I, it's about 11.15 now. I'm going to heat up a turkey burger and because I'm hungry and I don't want to wait anymore and have that probably on a wrap uh, with, I got to look what kind of vegetables I have. I've been eating a lot of vegetables. So I have some celery. We're going to throw some celery in there for crunch because why not? Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday morning. I uh, was just editing a bunch of vlog footage and put one up this morning and I have a couple days started, but I didn't vlog at all yesterday. It was kind of, yeah, yes, there was a little shakeup at work yesterday and it was just a lot going on. But I wanted to report in that I very much liked 
the mustard glazed chicken. I didn't think it, I felt like it helped it actually having been prepped a couple hours early. But Mr. Game, what's your opinion on the? That was good. It's a keeper? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. And then the other thing I realized I didn't report in on was the Duke's Mayo versus Hellman's. Yeah, we didn't taste any difference at all. No. <laughs> Not even the slightest. So, I don't know. I feel like a bunch of the Southern women that watch me are about to disown me. But I really didn't. I'm taking the top off this. I'm going to go hop on the treadmill. It's, it's 8 o'clock, by the way, in case I didn't say that. Um, I got up about 5.30, made some coffee, um, edited a vlog, started to edit another one. I've been watching Broadchurch on Netflix, which is interesting. I'm in, I think I'm halfway, I think I'm on season two, episode six or something like that. So I'm going to go watch another episode of that while I wander on the treadmill for a little bit. To move, we have Packer game this afternoon and then dinner tonight with um, Stephen and Mark and Wes Kamalpi. So that's what's going on. Not super exciting. I did uh, soak off my Manny yesterday because I really wanted to put this one on. So I will show you guys that here in a second. I just like to, so I like to fill my, this jug that I have from Amazon, by the way, is... If you fill it full, which is what I do, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I do that to make sure all the ice has fallen. Um, I'm going to go back in the cupboard with you guys. So if you fill it full, it's 2.2 liters. I always got to have one that's one piece of ice. It gives me trouble. And so, but it's, and if you only fill it up to the like start your day here line situation, then it's 60 ounces, I think. So like if you look it up on Amazon or whatever, I think it says 60 ounces. But I looked on the bottom and it says 2.2 liters, which is 74 ounces full. So I fill it up as far as I can with my out of the fridge and then I add some ice. It keeps it cold for a while anyway. Oops, random piece of ice right there. But, I totally lost my train of thought now. I don't remember what else I was saying. But, anyway, so uh, I did a, oh, I just said anyway again. You guys, I'm sorry. I noticed it in the last vlog. Uh, <laughs> I had been really much better about it, and I've, I've regressed. Maybe it was the not vlogging for a little while. I don't know. So, yeah, coffee, editing. Watch it. Oh, Broadchurch. Maybe that's what I'm talking about. It's intriguing. It's only three seasons, I guess, and then it was canceled. So, yeah. Go wander on the treadmill for half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And then get about my day. All right. It is just about 1 o'clock. And I don't remember when I checked in last. Um... I remember if I had it well anyway this is what I've done so far just in case um, I did I did walk on the treadmill I did some push-ups and some crunches um, as instructed and then showered washed my hair edited a haul video which is taking forever to render and uh, I did edit a, I'm sure that I told you guys that already I just can't remember if I checked in before or after I, with my workout but at any rate I'm waiting for this to render it's been rendering for like an hour and a half or two hours and ugh, it's real annoying and then I'm going to get that uploaded and start working on all the links for it uh, like I said I did a live I ed I, after editing that and then I just shot a video on how I curl my hair because that's super 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 requested Bob ran to Fleet Farm, and uh, don't I have one here that says, what it says I do? And he came back. He's like, I know you're trying to watch it, but sometimes 
you know, he's trying to be sweet, but not so helpful. But anyway, so he bought these Reese's Peanut Butter Hearts. He's like, you just, I just have one. Right? Because I'm known for my little pop. Anyway, so I just was going to put those in a little, little thing in the cupboard. And then he bought these. But these, I'm certain, are more for him than for me. They're called, they're sweet hearts, conversational hearts. You guys know he likes the chalky ones that have been around since, I don't even know when. Uh, if you've been around a little bit, you know that he loves those. He buys tons of them. Every year, at least a couple of bags. So, this is what I do with these in here, you guys. I'll show you. When I have ones that I'm not currently using, I just tuck them behind there, and you can't really see them. But since the last time he went to Costco, he bought me those. <laughs> I've already given a whole container to some friends to try to share them, but at any rate. Uh, okay. So, pack, we, I have three hours, right? No, a little less. Two and a half hours till Packer game. I was going to make some cookies for the guy that made or that brought me the vanilla that I was talking about. Um, but I think I actually may save that until tomorrow. I don't want to be in the middle of that, the packers and the whatnot. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to edit the video, the hair video that I just shot, once that other one is done doing its thing. I just was chilly, which is why I threw on this sweater. I had changed out of this Packer shirt and put on a different shirt for shooting the video and then changed back. So yeah, I'm just going to keep plugging along at different things here. Keep moving, trying not to be sedentary. Finally, it's done. I'm trying not to be sedentary, but I need to sit down in order to get these links done. So well, that's what I'm going to do. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. It's 1020. Here's what you missed so far. I was awake at five. <laughs> so already I've done two loads of laundry, folded and put away, made the bed um, from the sheets that I washed. Bob is out ice fishing. He left at like 6.30. Um, then I answered some comments on YouTube and uh, watched, tr was trying to watch this movie called Lockdown with Anne Hathaway in it, but I just can't. Ugh. I'm an hour in and I'm just, ugh. So I, I generally don't ever walk away from a movie, but I'm walking away. Um, <laughs> and then I uh, walked on the treadmill, showered, put my hair up. Didn't really do anything with my hair or face, obviously. And uh, now I made a menu and now I'm headed out to the grocery store to get stuff for the week. Um, we are gonna, I'm going to try a new Instant pos Pot recipe this week for beef barley soup. I've never made beef barley soup in my life, but I'm going to try. Um, I just wanted to check the milk situation. Okay, we're going to leave that alone. So it's got a half gallon. I think that'll do it. Um, so I need to go to both stores because I'm pretty sure Aldi doesn't have pearl barley. I'm going to look. but And then um, I need a rotisserie chicken because we're, we're going to have excuse me, chicken pie this week. So tonight we're having leftover tacos, whether he likes it or not. Uh, <laughs> then we're going to have um, frozen tortellini. That's something that I we always have in there. We get at Costco. It comes in a two-pack, and we use our own canned sauce on that, spaghetti sauce. So we're going to have that. We're going to have beef barley soup on Wednesday, and then Thursday we're going to have leftover beef barley soup. Okay, evidently... A soup is okay to have two days in a row, but that's the only thing. And I have to say, by the picture of the recipe that I looked at, it looks like it's pretty thick beef barley soup, more like a stew. So I'm, I'm going to make it as the recipe says, and I'm actually good. The recipe says that it's better after the day one. So I'm actually going to make it earlier in the week so that we're just going to reheat it versus eat it that day. Uh, and I will, I'll show you guys when I do it. I'll vlog along, of course, as I'm doing it. But I'm going to get extra. Oh, actually, it calls for six cups of beef broth. And each thing has four in it. 
So I'm obviously I'm going to get two unless you get cans. But anyway, the big containers have four cups. I have a feeling I'll end up using all of that because I don't want it to be so thick. I just find that hard for me to eat. So anywho, so that's what I'm going to get. Give me, blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm going to go do. We're going to have chicken pie Monday. Um, wait, I put on my little menu that Wendy got me. Yeah, chicken pie Monday, Italian stuff. I call it Italian stuff. Tuesday, beef barley soup, Wednesday and Thursday. And then I was just kind of, we just kind of punt on Friday and Saturday. We, we don't never know what's going on. Packers play again Yay. on Saturday um, because they beat the Rams last night. It was so much fun. We watched the first half here, Bob and I, and then we met some friends out um, where we were meeting Stephen and Mark <clears throat> and Wilson and Muppy for dinner. And it was so good to see him. I mean... And Mark, too, it had been almost a year, really, since we had any significant time together. So I know I've probably talked about that a bunch, but it just, it was good. It was good for my heart. Uh, so we went there at halftime, watched the rest of the game, um, while, you know, and then we, and it was us. We, this is why we went, by the way, before you jump all over me. Um, because we had been told that it would be dead there, and it was. It was us in our corner, and then two people up at the bar part of the supper club. It was. It's a supper club that we go to. Um, and then when we went down to eat, it was us and one other person or one other group of people at the opposite end. So it was. It was just great. It was good. We felt safe. It was awesome, and it was good to feel the energy of people, even if there's only a couple of people. The bartender and the other two people cheering for the game. It just. It was good. And then us, of course, there were six of us. Okay, so, yeah, so that's, I, I haven't planned anything past Thursday for next week because I just don't know what, I, I just don't know what the week's going to bring, so we'll see. And if I don't feel like cooking on Friday, we'll order pizza or whatever. So, all right, I'm out. I will see you guys later. All right, guys, I realize I haven't done a check-in in a while. It's 1.40. I went to both Aldi and then to Charlie's, which is our local grocery store. And um, came back, put all the groceries away. I cut up bell peppers. I cut up like green bell peppers and also um, orange and yellow. And some cucumbers and some celery. I'm trying to think. Got all of Bob's vegetables in his little, little um, baggies for him for the week. And then I have a bunch for myself also cut up. I had put a picture on Instagram. I'm like... Anybody else just have to, you know, plan in advance or I don't have even the slightest chance of being successful in making healthy choices. So I did that and then I um, took all the chicken off a of rotisserie chicken and I got that in the fridge. And I'm saving that, that chicken carcass. So I'll get another one next week and then I'll use the chicken off of that one to make a chicken noodle soup. And, sorry, that's my oven uh, being preheated and anyway and then I'll use both the carcasses to get a lot of good broth so I'm going to do that next week so I got that done and then I made myself my little I call it like a little uh, personal pan pizza I use those healthy extreme wraps that I've showed you guys and I put a little pizza sauce on there a few mini pepperonis some mozzarella cheese and I just put that in the oven for like 10 minutes, I preheat the oven to 400 degrees first before I even, I'm making cookies right now in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I, so I preheat the oven before I even put it in there. I think that's the key to the wrap getting even semi-crispy. Um, and so I had that and then, then I thought, well, I'll take a nap. Well, that didn't happen. I tried, I just couldn't fall asleep. So I got up and I am making cookies for um, the guy at work that brought me the vanilla. The guy at Bob's work that brought me the vanilla. So that's what's happening. Not super exciting, but I'm just keeping moving. I'm pretty excited. I've already closed um, my exercise ring for the day. I've already closed my move ring for the day. I'm over, I think I'm, well, my move ring for the day is 950 calories. Um, and so... I'm over that already. So that's good. Um, Bob is still out on the ice. I've not heard from him. So, and it's my, um, my baby, not my baby brother, but one of my baby brothers, <laughs> my younger brother, Tim. It's his birthday today. 
So I sent him a text a little bit ago. Um, that's about it. I mean, not too much else to report. Just plugging away at a few things. I, I was going, I pondered making the beef barley soup tonight. Or like now, I mean, today, tonight, today. Um, and I just decided, nah, I'm going to do it another day. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't feel like dealing with all of the steps of it today. So, I didn't. I decided to make cookies instead. Anywho, that's what I got for you guys. Like I said, I just thought I would check in. Um, the recipe that I am using today, here, let me put these in the oven, and then I will show you guys. Let me just move. It's this, it's the... <laughs> This goes way back. This is a copycat Pillsbury sugar cookie recipe. So let me just get it in focus here so you guys can screenshot it if you want. Um, it's, it's a whole long story that I want to get into right now, but it's not the normal one I use for cutout cookies, but because it has just a little bit different flavor to it, I just felt like making this one. So that's what I did instead of my normal one. So I'm going to keep moving along here and I'll check out.